This is Twit. This year, we are going to see 8K in a big way. <laughs> 8K, now that, holy 8K. cow. 8K, I know. That refers to the re resolution on your screen, and right now we're in the 4K era. And we've only been in the 4K era for a few years, no more than five, if that. And now we're going to start seeing 8K. Wow. Samsung has already introduced and uh, started selling an 8K TV, and we're going to see ones from LG, more from Samsung. I'm sure we'll see some from Sony. Um, so, you know, it's inevitable. The Nobody should buy a 4K TV today, though, right? Or well, should you, you, you can't not buy it. I mean, unless I mean, you an buy 8K. I meant to say 8K. Yeah, 8K, 8K. Yeah, 4K, yeah. you want 4K. Yeah, you want 4K I mean, HDR, and you, as you say, there's, you'd be hard-pressed to find something that's not. That's right. Only the very lowest-end TVs are not 4K yeah, nowadays. Yeah. Um, but 8K, yeah, unless you're a super early adopter... And you've got money to burn. <laughs> right. Uh, you know, because these 8K displays are going to be expensive. Uh, LG, is, they've, LG has basically announced all their stuff ahead of time. Usually they keep it close to the vest until their press conference. But this year they've announced just about everything. And they're going to have an 88-inch OLED 8K TV. That's one thing that's taken some of the fun out of CES is it's not as much of a surprise as it used to be, right? Well, or is you there know, still some, some oddball oh, stuff? Oh yeah. Oh sure, sure. There's still going to be some oddball stuff, uh, and some companies do keep it close to the vest. I, I had to sign several non-disclosure oh. agreements to, mm. uh, you know, to get the skinny before the show, and of course I'll let you know all about that next week. Ah. <laughs> oh, you sneaky boy. <laughs> well, so okay, I know you can't say everything, but is can't there something everything. you're particularly going to be looking for? Well, Besides the you, stuff you've agreed not to say anything about? Yeah, well, I, I think it's safe to say and, e and legal to say that HDMI 2.1 is finally going to be here in products. The current HDMI standard that we have now is, is 2.0. Okay. And so 2.1 has was announced a couple of years ago, and the biggest – it has several pieces to it, and the biggest one is an increased bit rate. So currently, HDMI 2.0, the bit rate, maximum bit rate is 18 gigabits per second. Mm -hmm. 2.1, the maximum bit rate is 48. So that will allow 8K. How about that? Uh, at up to, I think, 60 frames per second or 4K at 120 frames per second. So we're going to get much faster frame rates. Now, we'll we can debate all you like whether or not that's a good thing or not. Many people will say it's not for movies, hmm. but for video and sports and stuff like that, I think it's a really good thing. Um, and there are other things, too, like variable frame rate. Gamers kind of have this now, but it's going to soon be available in TVs. Um, very low latency. There's a lot of interesting things about HDMI 2.1. And we heard about it, as I said, a couple of years ago, and we haven't seen any products. And people have been going, where am I, when am I going to get, should I wait for HDMI 2.1 in a TV? Well, we're going to see TVs with it, at least from LG, if not from other companies. Uh, so that is coming down the pike. That's going to be pretty exciting. Do you need a new cable as well as a for it, HDMI 2.1 yeah. to to take advantage of all the features that it offers, yes. Oh do. my! However, it's fully backward compatible, so it will work with existing cables. You just won't get necessarily all of the new features that HDMI 2.1 offers. Hmm. So, <clears throat> that, I'm glad that they made it fully backward compatible. That's yeah. really a yeah. Um, but you might not, you know, you the new the. Existing cables won't necessarily be able to convey 48 gigabits per second. Wow. That's the main thing. Well, get the pedometer ready. I know you it walk is. many, many miles on the show floors in Las Vegas, you and the 180 other thousand other people. <laughs> <laughs> if you're fighting your elbow your way through, I'm not going to go this year. I, I I felt bad about it, though, and I think I might go next year just because I think I should go every five years. That's when there you see you a big change, right? Yep, yeah. yep.